you got an itchy ear and everything. This is the book I read this week. I'm going to show it to you right now. The Green Hornet Cracks Down. It's a big little book. They call them big little books. They wrote in the, what, 30s, 40s? 30s and 40s. And this one is from, uh, let's see what year it's from. Uh, 1942. And what were you doing in 1942? And how old were you in 1942? This is uh, The Green Hornet Cracks Down by Fran Stryker. Illustrated by Henry E. Valley Lee, based on the famous radio series, Whitman Publishing Company, Rexine, Wisconsin. So see, it even has artwork. Every second page has got an art page, a drawn. And there he is, the Green Hornet. Even got these pages up here in the corner where you flip through them. And the, 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 is he up here in the top? Yeah, yeah. It's a flip book, they call it. I can never figure out how these work. Because if I go like that, it would be easier to go like that than it is to go like this to me, for me. See? I'm doing this way. And that's the way you're supposed to do it. And you're supposed to see these pages. But I can never get it right, so I don't know how the hell anybody else did. But anyway, this start this starts off with uh, Brett Reed. He's a newspaper business, right? He owns this newspaper, and he's got Cato, right, as his buddy, you know. Um, starts off with, uh, there's an airplane crash. There's 21 21, 22 men in an airplane. And of course, there's the two pilots and the stewardess, right? She, you know, she's serving dinner, supper, passing out drinks and stuff. Airplane crashes, it'll get like though, all 25 of them dead. That's it. Well, Britt Reed's sitting there going, This sounds kind of familiar, this story. So he looks it up, of course, a year ago in his paper, there's another crash, similar, same, almost, to, same thing, right? So he delves into it a little bit and he finds out there's this place or company that uh, trains all these people, men, the one, you know, all the men, for specific jobs, you know, in places. And, the, you know, the other world down there somewhere, you know, Europe someplace. So they all get sent to Europe for these special jobs. This company puts life insurance on them. You know, like say, you know, what, I don't know, $100,000 or $200,000 or whatever it was. On the men, so of course the men died, and the company gets life insurance, and the ten, two million or twenty million dollars or whatever it was, gets this company gets all the money. So he starts looking into this company and these men and all that stuff to find out what's it all about and why is this company insuring all these men, right? Which is two airplane crashes, and it comes to, and you know, like I said, you know, ten million, twenty million dollars or whatever it was, and he starts looking into it and finding out how they did all this stuff and who's behind it. So that's what this story's about. So that's uh, The Green Hornet Cracks Down on a big little book that I read this week. Of course, I'm also reading other, other books and stuff like that. I should have had this up last week, so I'm actually a week behind. So anyway, I forgot to do this last week, but I got another book and I wasn't completely finished with that too. But uh, I'll put that one on next week. So for now, like I say, the Green Hornet cracks down. If you can find this big little book and you're interested in the Green Hornet, try and find it. I don't know. I don't know how much this cost me. I had this for years. I don't know. It's not, you know, it's, it's all right. It's not in the greatest shape. It's not mint or anything like that. But still, it's nice to have. I got a bunch of them over there. So maybe I'll show another one or read another one or whatever. But anyway... Talk to you later, people. Keep reading those books.